Welcome to Revolutionary Motion, where we show you tennis from a different perspective. In today's video, we are going to show you an easy exercise that you guys can do at home as long as you have a partner to do it with that helps you to work on finding the ideal contact point as well as the ideal body positioning towards your shots. The way this exercise works is as follows. So you're going to put your racket down and you're going to have a partner stand in front of you with a ball in their hand. Now you want to position yourself in a way that your arm is locked in in a position that creates a perfect contact point if you didn't have a racket and the hand would represent your sweet spot. So now, my, in my case, my arm would be positioned somewhere like this. Now I keep my hand open to catching a ball. Now my partner is going to toss that ball in a way that it's going to bounce in front of me and now I have to move towards the ball and catch the ball without moving my arm at all. So I'm trying to move my feet forward and backward or sideways if I need to so the ball moves right into my hand without me moving my arm. Now the purpose of this exercise is very simple. You're trying to recreate the posi positioning that you need to find when you're swinging into your forehands. The same thing goes with the left hand and the backhand obviously. Unfortunately it doesn't work with the one-handed backhand though. The next step to this exercise would then include you holding a racket. So you would now position your arm the same way with the racket in your hand and now you would try to move to the ball in a way that it hits your racket right in its sweet spot. So that you will see is very challenging because you're not used to moving just like this but in the end you're moving into the same spot as if you're trying to hit the ball. Just you're not going to hit it. You're just letting the ball hit your racket and come back out. Now let's show you how this whole exercise works. Now you can see as we're doing this exercise that it is not easy to find that perfect spot every single time because you're not used to doing this without a racket. And most of the time most of you hit the ball a little bit too late or a little bit too early because you're too far or too close to the ball with your, with your racket. So, and with your body obviously as well. Now let's see how this whole thing looks when we're using a racket and going over to the second part of the exercise. Once you get good at this, I promise you it's going to be much easier for you to find the perfect contact point on your forehand and backhand and it will be much sim simpler for you to have ideal power transfer into your shots and hit the ball much, much cleaner than you would if you're not worried about where the contact point is. The conclusion here is you're not trying to improvise by swinging your arm to the ball no matter where the ball is, but you're trying to move your feet into the perfect spot so the ball is always in the same angle and same distance to your body, ideally. Like that, you'll be much more repeatable in your motions and it will be much simpler for you to execute the same shots over and over again or mix it up between cross courts and down the line because now you're in the ideal contact point so you can really do whatever you want. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.